Hi, I'm Mark Cranenberg. Today we're in the heart of downtown Ottawa in the Byward Market, checking out one of the classiest sandwich shops I've ever seen. La Bottega de Castro is a beautiful little Italian import store with a fresh deli, food you're not going to find anywhere else in the city, and great people. Come on, check it out with us, all here on OttawaFoodie.com. You know what I love about this place? They've got fresh vegetables, imported Italian foods, you've got all sorts of delicious crackers, amazing cheeses, and even this Baladin soda that you just can't get anywhere else, imported from Italy. San Pellegrino, and even for you classics out there, they still have Coke. So we're here with Rocco, the manager here at La Bottega. Rocco, I hear there's some really interesting history about this place. You want to tell us about that? Yeah, sure. Um, well, we're, we're fifth generation, continue on the family legacy of uh, you know the cash flow food business. So our great 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 grandfathers back in Italy had a tiny little uh, wasn't a it wasn't a store like this. You can imagine it was a tiny little uh, like your butcher butcher shop, which sort of grew into a little grocery store. And uh, 1995, we opened this location here. So how long have you been part of it for? since I was about this big. So I was, that I was 12. I'm guessing that's I day would, one. Yeah, I would come on the weekends after Italian school. I'd come and uh, work with John and, and Pat. These guys were here since day one as well. So it was Johnny, one of our main guys here in Pat. Uh, so it was, it was a while ago. It was, it, we'll, we'll be celebrating, in fact, our 20th anniversary next May. So wow. we're looking forward to that. If there's anything I know about Italians, family is so important. And that's what makes this place feel so warm and inviting. This place is so amazing, I'm sure people come in and say, I just want to bottle this up and sprinkle them all over the city. What's your response to that? Yeah, we get we get a lot of uh, customer requests to, to like open up, you should open up a store here, you should open up a store there. In fact, we are going to open up a second location uh, in Little Italy, 2016. We're looking forward to that. Rocco, I love what you've done with this traditional Italian food with this modern flair. Thanks so much for your time. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys do in the future. Desserts. All right, let's go have a sandwich. Let's do it. Coffee. We're here with Peter. He's known as the sandwich guru here at La Bottega. Peter, what kind of sandwich are you gonna make me? Today we're gonna do a spicy Italian mix. And is that your most popular sandwich? Definitely up there for sure. All right, so we usually always start with provolone. And what kind of bread we got? Uh, this is the focaccia, made in house each morning. Definitely the pop most popular bread. And what kind of herbs am I seeing on that bread? On uh, this one, you got garlic, rosemary, some basil. It's just a great collection of it smells Italian good herbs. too. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, what's next? So up next, we go and uh, slice our meat. Spicy cavicol, spicy genoa. Shave off a few bits. Not even pre-sliced. These guys, they're rocking it right from the ground up on this sandwich. <laughs> Look at the placement of that meat. This is definitely not Peter's first rodeo. <laughs> so the next, depending on what you like on your sandwich, we have a variety of toppings we can put on. I hear your eggplant's amazing here. It is. That's definitely a staple here at Bottega. So load me up. Tomatoes, lettuce, you got it. and hot peppers. Perfect. What makes the sandwich so good here, Peter? Good ingredients. Sam great sandwich maker, it's, it's a whole, the whole combo. <laughs> I'm loving your confidence. I'm loving the confidence. A little bit of both. Good combo. And finish it off. Lettuce. Great presentation. And there we have it. I prefer the cross cut. <laughs> there you have it. Beauty hey, Italian sandwich. Oh, that looks good. All right, Peter, that's a great looking sandwich. Mm. I can't even talk, I got too much food in my mouth. Mild provolone, a little bit of a chewy texture to the bread. That's a delicious sandwich. That eggplant, it really sets it off, for sure. All right, very good. All right, Peter, make me your favorite sandwich. All right, so start with the soft panini. Nice, fresh, soft. Then I get my mild provolone on there. I love spice, so I get the spicy Genoa. 
prosciutto, always thinly sliced as well, and then the Italian ham, one of my favorites. There we go. I'm loving how much meat's on that sandwich. Oh, yeah. This is his favorite, that's right. <laughs> Tomato, always a little bit of eggplant. You never have too much eggplant. Oh, yeah. A few red onions to get that, and top it off with some lettuce. That's one of my favorites. Did your mom ever make a sandwich that good? Oh! <laughs> I don't know, I think I learned it at Bottega. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was very good. Totally different sandwich. Got panini bread, really soft. Little bit of spice. I love eggplant, so that sandwich is delicious. Loving it. I'll eat these all day long. Take my word for it, get down here and try one of these. One of the things that makes La Bottega so amazing is their huge variety of cheeses. I'm here with John, he's known as the cheesemonger. John, what do you do on a daily basis here? Um, I cut cheeses, as you can see, we have about 200 different types of cheeses from all over the world. And uh, yeah, I just cut, cut, and sell. I saw you on Facebook rolling around a huge chunk of cheese the other day. Yeah. Can you so show us where these huge pieces yeah, of cheese are? Yeah, well, I, I usually have a huge stock here, but this is probably one of them right here. Bad boys, 100 pounds. 100 pounds. So um, we probably go through like one of these a day when it's on sale. Wow. So uh, yeah, you can go through quite a bit. So you cut everything in house. And is that how you got so ripped? <laughs> cut all that cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So look who decided to show up here at La Bottega. We got Stuntman Stu. Why do you come here? Because the sandwiches are fantastic. That's why. That's why I come here. It's delicious. What sandwich are you gonna get? I'm gonna get uh, Capicolo on, oh, I mean, I don't even know what bread because every time I come in, I choose a different bread. They will tell me what bread that I'm gonna have. That's because they know their sandwiches here at La Bottega. Nice, and you keep coming back for the people, obviously. Yeah, people are great. This, yeah. is, this is like one of those little family places that you see on TV all the time where everybody's uh, usually in a good mood and, and they're just happy to see you. Loving it, thanks so much for your time. Cool, man, appreciate it. So I ran into Carolyn here. She's the one that started Ottawa Foodie Challenge. Carolyn, what keeps you coming in here? So I love this place. I come in here for all the people, the amazing food, the great coffees, and especially the sandwiches. They're delicious, handmade, every day, so tasty. I hear sometimes you're even here twice a day. Twice a day, in for a coffee, in for, in for lunch, get my groceries. I live on Sussex, so it's really easy for me to come drop by. Wow. And what's your favorite sandwich? Okay, so the key to a really good sandwich is definitely the bread. So it's the homemade focaccia here. It's made fresh every single day, which is really good. So I always go for the white focaccia. I do provolone, turkey, and then either I'll do prosciutto or genoa salami, and then the spicy one. Have to do the spicy one. I agree with you, yes. So lettuce, mayo, onion, and then the secret thing that you should always ask for that isn't necessarily on the menu yes. is a little bit of olive oil. A little bit of olive oil. A little oil. bit of olive oil. Not too much. That, that's what makes a good sandwich. Thanks for stopping by. Us foodies, we gotta stick together. Definitely, thanks. All right, cool. Oh, I love the people, the culture, the food's good and uh, the service. The service is probably the best I've ever been to. Uh, I like, uh, I'm a vegetarian, so I have the veggie with all the toppings. So we're here with Amanda. She's a regular here. Amanda, what do you come in here for? Um, everything. Um, their sandwich, I come in for a lot. I come in for coffee every day, and um, I come in for their pasta, their cheeses, everything. <laughs> Describe the sandwich you eat. Um, I have it on multigrain bread with um, with cheese and salami, and I have eggplant on it. It's amazing. <laughs> what do you think about the people here? Um, it's kind of like family. Um, we, I come in here all the time, probably four times a week, and everyone's so welcoming, and it's it's amazing. I feel like at home here. <laughs> so you don't mind putting up with Rocco and everybody? Here. No, no, he's great. <laughs> so Robert, you feel like family here? What? Yeah, what yeah, would you say yeah. About this you place? know, I've been I've been here. I mean, and least since the last 20 years, you know. Good friend of uh, Johnny, Rocco, Pat, you know I mean? T -t -t having sandwiches, you know, you know I mean, and once a week, you know, having meals a couple of times a week, you know, it's, it's the place in town. This is the place in town, you know, and you meet friend, you know, it's like uh, going to the church on Sunday, you know what I mean? Yeah. So if I had to, you to pinpoint your favorite sandwich, oh, what would that be? So many good sandwiches here. I mean, always the, the focaccia, you know, the bread, you know, the, uh, the cheese, Swiss cheese, you know, with the 
Italian ham, you know, with some latest tomato, black olive, you know. There's sandwiches. no such thing as a bad sandwich. No, there's no such thing as a bad sandwiches, you know. As right. you can tell if you try it. Oh, I've uh, tried them. Okay, good. Thanks a lot there, Rob. Hey, no Go problem. Back. The one thing I'm taking away from this episode, everything here is done with excellence. Great food, amazing people, you come in as a customer, and you leave as family. I'm Mark from OttawaFoodie.com. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.